Welcome guys and welcome to my channel of wonderful weirdness. I am Nick's Wolf and today we are going to let's say do a uh, two for the price of one type thing. We are going to be doing two games today in one video. They are both done by Corpse Pile and I have been wanting to try the, these two out for a while. Uh, we'll start it out with a little open house tour because who doesn't like going to any open houses to see nice new homes and wanting to buy and then the second one I know with what I've read is you stuck in you just do the same routine over and over but things start to change as your routine continues so we'll see how well we do from here and as you can see I got upgraded so hopefully the audio will be a lot better moving forward so let's head on in so I go to an actual open house when you've got such an efficient virtual open house at the palm of your hands I mean it adheres to COVID protocols, so you do not get into contact with anybody. You don't need to physically get in your car and drive there, so it's fuel efficient. What more could you ask for? You don't physically have to go to the house until you decide to buy it. Um, so what more could you possibly ask for in a virtual open house assistant program? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Hmm? Okay, so we're going to head straight into it I hello there my name is agent name okay we'll name him Bob my name is Bob and I'm one of your local North Tree real estate agents for the North Tree area nice to meet you congrats well, hi I would shake your hand but you're virtual Thank you for being a part of our alpha testing program. We're excited about our partnership with Optics Dynamics Labs to help bring you the latest in cutting edge real estate technology through nano drones, pho photogrammetry that, and industry leading machine learning. But what does that all mean? Well, Nix, I'm glad you asked. For the first time ever, you've made the home buying process more convenient by bringing the full open house experience to the comforts of your personal digital devices. It's home buying revolutionized for the 21st century. Imagine posing for that. Through a combination of camera drones and thousands of still images, we can now scan and recreate a fully explorable three-dimensional snapshot of any home. For a seller, that means no more dealing with the inconvenience of multiple showings. For a buyer, you can now browse our entire portfolio while sitting on your couch. How convenient. Nothing could ever go wrong. We're excited to show you a perfect home in your North Tree area. It's a fresh listing from one of our newer developments. But before we can get into all that fun stuff, I'll need to go over some basics of how this all works. Don't worry, it won't take long, I promise. Okay, this indicates what room you're currently in. Uh, moving your cursor around the screen, in example, the highlighted areas, will reveal different icons. Turn left, turn right, move forward. Moving your cursor over the information bar will reveal additional options you can click on. Okay, seems simple enough. Now I think we're ready to get started. I highly suggest that you wear headphones, check, to get the full virtual open house experience. Please keep all hands and feet inside the ride at all times and remember to have fun. And do let us know if there's anything we can do to improve your experience because here at North Tree Real Estate, you, Nix, are our highest priority. Okay, loading scan of so-and-so holiday. Oh, this is nice. And they give you nice music as well. It's a little bit dramatic, but anyways. Okay. I think... Let's start this way. Look at that nice view. What a pretty view. Does the TV work? Does the TV come with the home? Oh. This cozy living room receives tons of natural light during the day and the brick fireplace adds the perfect touch of warmth for the cold winter months. Disabled. What's the overview? A oh, beautiful three bedroom, 2.5 bathroom, multi level home located in a new suburban development. Features include an all brick fireplace, hardwood floors, central air, and nearby shopping attractions. Type single family parking, two spaces. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. 
Where is this fireplace he speaks of? Oh, here it is. No, I don't want to see that. Nice. Am I, am I standing in the middle of the table? Ooh, look at that! Bob, why did you have to get into the shot while they were busy with this virtual scan? Okay, kitchen. Can we toggle the light switch? No. Okay, what does he say over here? With modern appliances and tons of space, you'll never have to worry about having too many cooks in your kitchen. Okay. I'm gonna leave the lights on. There's a shovel! Can I bury you in my backyard? No one will even notice. Okay, let's go to the garage. Definitely a two space thing. I'd love to. So many nice lights. It's so bright. Okay, before we click there, let's find out about the garage. The two car garage has plenty of room for storage, or could be converted into that perfect personal space you've always wanted. So, what about the uh, bloody saw? You know, does that come with the house too? Oh, she's that. That actually gave me a bit of a fright. The music is just... So what, if we go back to the dining room, is he still standing there? Yep. Okay, let's head upstairs, shall we? bedroom master bedroom Ooh, okay someone was getting kinky a massive walk-in closet and ensuite bathroom makes this 500 square foot master bedroom your sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of everyday life along with murder bathroom yes we can oh look I'm a vampire oh. marble counters and tiling add a sense of luxury that helps you to unwind and relax after a long day I hope it come, the mirror comes with a reflection oh look at the toilet and the flickering light Does he say anything about the passageway? No. Okay. Let's head into this room. Oh, look! What a beautiful view of unpixelated surroundings. Don't look at it. Okay. It doesn't specify, so what the hell are you not supposed to look at? Because, you know. Ooh, there's scratches on the wall. Oh, now it's gone. Did they put body parts in here and wash them in the dryer? Oh my lord. Okay. Um. Bob? Anything about this? A second floor laundry room means no more hauling heavy loads of clothes up and down the stairs. Talk about a real time saver. Does this come with the added creeper in the closet that does the laundry for you? Because that would be a bonus. And what does he say about this bathroom? Another completely redone and modern full bathroom means never having to fight over who gets to use the shower first. Awesome! Everything is awesome! Okay. Okay, what does he say about this one? 
This end hall bedroom is large enough for two small children or that moody teenager who enjoys their privacy and loud music. Okay. So now what? I'm done viewing the house. Ooh, the door is open. Does that mean we can leave now? The entry has a nice modern look with a spacious vaulted ceiling. There's also a convenient guest bathroom located just down the hall. Nice. Okay. So what do we need to do? Oh no. Oh! The chair's locked over. Is he still standing there? Yep. Is he still gonna say the same thing? Yeah. Okay, so what now then? The blood is gone. Okay. Oh! My bad. Oh. oh, it's like it's breathing on my neck. Got goosebumps. I don't like breathing in uh, uh okay, don't look at don't look at what. Yes, I see that's a guest bathroom. Uh. Oh, and with the music that stopped, it's uh it's uh, uh Bob, don't do that! No Ugh. I'm still trying to get over the fact of someone breathing on my neck. Okay, I want to go. <laughs> okay, thank you. The current scan has encountered a memory error. Oh, that's dark. But anyways, like the breathing in the speaker, it honestly makes gives me goosebumps because it's like it's someone breathing on my neck. It's just. I love it and I hate it at the same time. Bob? Bob? Are you still alive? Bob? Your eyes and mouth got cut off. Out. Virtual Bob? No! No! Virtual Bob! Oh, I can't even turn around to leave. Oh, 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 no, that, that is just. Hello? Hi, little creepy person. <laughs> oh, I'm covered in goosebumps. Hello? Oh! That's so cool! I can move around now! Do I have to go in there? Can I not go in here? No, I don't like dark spaces. Ok, 
can I hide in here? Is that fine? Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a live feed. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, I can open the doors. Okay. So it's re scanning the rooms. It's inside. Well, that doesn't make me feel any better. I doesn't want to go in there. I'm really on edge. Saving and compiling. Okay. Error. Inconsistent scan dimensions. Please rescan master bedroom. Okay. But it doesn't want to allow me in there. Oh. Oh. Why this is so oddly quiet? I don't like it. Don't like it. Oh well. <sighs> System. Okay. Oh, it's actually got today's date over here. Oh, my mouse is gone. I'm in the corner. And it's got today's date. That's so cool. Ooh, okay, okay. Why? Can I just go home now? Can I leave this virtual assistant home open house, please? Like, can I just leave? Please? I don't want to leave. Don't leave me alone. I hate that it's so quiet. What if I go the other way? Ah, Bob, no. What have they done to you, Bob? Oh, oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. No, I hate this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, system locate player tag. Why is it can't... System spawn it character. No, don't spawn it character. Mm-mm. Why are you counting up? Really? Can this thing just debug already, please? Just debug and get it done with, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. <laughs> no! Uh uh! Don't do that! People, 
people running and you can't see them. Makes me very nervous. Oh, Bob. Now you've been beheaded. Tab to... Oh. Oh, okay. Can I, can I change? Oh, I want to change back. I don't want to be here anymore. It's like I'm inside a brain. Oh, no, I'm going skew. Uh, no, keep, keep straight. Keep straight. There we go. It's like I'm inside a brain. What's this now? What's this? Oh, I got my mouse back. Can I still move now? make an offer uh no thank you how about you can i will give you money to leave me alone wow Offer accepted. Expect a call soon. Your life for the house. At least my ghost can live in the house now. Okay. And so it closes. So that's it for virtual open house. Um, I must say I did I did actually enjoy the game. It was not it was a nice quick short point and click game. Uh, the the jump scares. The jump scares were actually quite were quite good. I I enjoyed them, especially the audio with the breathing on them. I love I absolutely love it and hate it in the game, but more obviously love it. Um, I I certainly love it when a horror game incorporates audio like that because it's it plays with your mind and it makes you believe that there's someone there breathing on your neck and it makes you feel so uncomfortable. Even when like someone's running towards you and you can't see it, or you can see it, but you can go nowhere. I love it in, a, in horror games. Um, but nonetheless, that was Virtual Open House. You guys are more than welcome to download it from Corpse Pile. It is for free, and then they do ask, should you want to make a donation, you can name your price for the game. Otherwise, you can go enjoy it for free. But let's head on to the next game called Routine. So I think Routine is another point and click game. Oh, ooh, okay, cool, awesome. Routine, six, okay. Take one pull daily. Okay, now all of a sudden I'm in the kitchen. Oh, okay. This one's a little bit different. It's also... Okay, so how... Oh, okay. Put some water in the kettle. Bloop. I love the sound effects. Okay. This actually almost looks like the filter coffee machine I have. Because you also fill it there and looks exactly like that. Okay, so what do you... Oh. Put a little filter in. Get some coffee. I'm a tea person myself, but coffee it is today. Mmm. Smell that nice fresh ground coffee. Okay, do I do something while it's busy? Ooh. 
Let's see that beautiful outside. Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. Got such a cute little backyard. Okay. Now it's nine o'clock. I wonder if he took his pole. He, she, whoever. Okay. Modern science. Controversial particle accelerator completed. Protest continues. Activation date draws near. And back the next day we are at 6 o'clock in the morning. I love the electric beater. Oh, I'd love one of those. Okay, I should probably take in the surroundings because the surroundings are probably going to change as we go. Okay, get the filter cup, get the coffee, put the coffee in. I love how you can even hear that. Okay. Open the curtain, see that beautiful sun. Oh, wow, okay. With an added dead body. Good day, sir. Are you alive or are you dead? Or am I just astral projecting and that's my body? <gasps> or am I dead and this is the ghost? Hello? Poke it with a stick with your foot oh okay wow now I'm the one lying on the ground come on get up I can hear him walking dude ending loop I'll do whatever I want nobody tells me what to do not even me So was I not supposed to go to the body? I am highly confused. Okay. Let's try this again. Clearly, that was the wrong answer. Next time you see a dead body lying in your backyard, you just blink an eye and look like... Uh, you blink an eye and make as if nothing's happened or that you see nothing. Let's put some water in and make the coffee for the morning. Doop. Okay. Filter. Coffee. Shh. Let's put it on. Let's open our curtain. Okay, no dead body. Got it. Okay. You see, but... Oh, but maybe then there was an option to actually turn around. Okay, 9 o'clock. Oh, okay. Oh, Ooh. okay. Let's watch some TV. Strange objects in sky. Oh, it sounds like I'm underwater. Okay. Okay. Note to self, there's no dead body in my backyard. Got to do the daily grind, got to do my coffee, got to get dressed, got to go to work. Ugh. 
the daily life of an adult. Not gonna lie, that's making me want to pee a little. Well, not now, nah, but yeah. makes me want to go to the yeah. You get what I mean. Okay. There's no other options. Okay. Dead body in our backyard. Or a live body that's trying to trick us. No. No. Okay. What am I supposed to do then? Can't I move backwards or... I don't want to go to the dead body. Well, the alive body. What? So it changes. Invaded. I couldn't escape them. They occupied my mind. They drained my energy. I can't even think anymore. They've completely taken over control. So the ending depends on what you read and what you look at. But then the first ending makes no sense because they were talking about the... That thing. The particle accelerator. Hmm. Okay, so then let's, if we read the newspaper, let's see then. Da, 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 da. Okay, same old, same old. Come on. Okay, so it all depends on what we do. I want to see what the newspaper does. I wonder if we also just sit and not make a selection. Then do we get a good ending or... Okay, search for local missing man continues. Real estate company being investigated for violating stigmatized property laws. Okay. He's going to go to read about that now. And dream and wake up in the morning. What, someone's going to stab him? Beat him with his own coffee jug? Watch out. Okay. Da, 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 da. Just another day in the loop of a man that's going insane. I love how they even added the effect of the water sloshing in the in the jug. Okay. Come on. Same man there, but now probably I'm gonna get kidnapped or something. I don't know. Maybe this time I'm gonna get stabbed. Or am I gonna get the same ending? He's probably gonna punch me in the face again, isn't he? No. Okay, that's a twist I did not see coming. Maybe he's the man that's making people go missing. Close. He can't get out again. I have to keep him hidden. No one likes him anyway. I have to keep him here where it's safe. Well, 
Okay, but there's not... There's not other options, really. What if I leave it? Okay, clearly leaving it doesn't help. But there's no more options left, so I don't know, like, what more can you do? Because you're just stuck in this little daily grind. Is there nothing else you can do? Is that it or... Pressing all to quit to desktop, okay? Grab the grab the damn filter. Do you want coffee or not? So now what? Now I can't select any of it. Okay, but if I can't select anything, what am I supposed to do? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to let the clock go to past nine o'clock okay so now he's done nothing okay oh, the routine is still the same powder okay let's see what awaits us now stole the man no man yay oh there's a birdie okay calm it was a nice day. So you see, sometimes doing nothing produces a nice day. Okay, but if we're still doing... Oh, now it's 9 o'clock. Again. Okay, so what now? What, do you just escape? I kind of don't want to escape, because what if there's something else? So 
when you do that, then that comes up. Wait, I wasn't done. I think you're supposed to look for something. Oh yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, but what now? That is so cool. Simulation. I know something's there. Always watching, always listening. They don't want me to know the truth. Okay, so there's obviously madness to this. What? Reason. There's always... There's, there's reason to this madness. Let me... Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Okay, but now I'm starting everything again. Because the last two times I didn't have to hit the button. Okay, now it just loops itself. So does that mean now that's the end of the simulation or the routine cycle? No, it doesn't bring up that screen anymore. So I wonder if I was supposed to look for something when that screen came up because I didn't find anything. I'm going to let it complete its cycle and then we'll take it from there. o'clock that's different so I repeated it but I didn't touch the the magazines I repeated the whole cycle I didn't touch the magazines or the remote or anything like that I just I just did the sitting for the full minute I'm happy you made it you had many reasons to quit yet you didn't Maybe things are a little clearer now. I know it took a few days to get... Yes, it did. Quite a few days. Some that ended better than others. Yeah, there was one that ended the best. No doubt. The others were all horrible. Hopefully... You enjoyed at least one of them. Yes, the one with the birdie and the simulation one. If not, thanks for being here anyways. I can't promise where this goes next. Okay, sounds eerie. It could be somewhere good. It could be somewhere bad. What I can promise is that this is a real ending. Okay? And even if you've seen all the ones I have to offer, which I'm sure I've seen all the endings, there are many more out there waiting.
to be found. Please don't dwell on the bad that you will encounter. Carry only the good and always try to look for more. Well, that's actually quite a nice. Good luck. Okay. What are you throwing me into the TV now? No! I don't want to go! Okay. So what? I'm thrown into the TV now. I'm being sucked into the vortex. So I basically just re-went through everything because I thought that that grey panel, you had to find something. So I skipped everything and I literally just sat there for the full minute. And it brought me to this ending. The end. One day at a time. So this is the actual ending. Okay. So now it's got me thinking, what if I didn't click on any of those things and I actually did first sit there for the full minute? Would it have still taken me through that whole process where... Okay, it was a nice day, and then just restart everything so that I click on everything else, or would I have just skipped over all those other endings to find that one true ending? I think I'd have to give it a shot sometime again, and just literally do that, and see what happens. Um, but I actually, that was actually, I enjoyed that. That was quite fun, you know, the whole doing the whole same routine, and depending on what you read, that's what your ending is, and... It makes you realize that you don't always have to sit and click on something that's readily available to you. You can also just sit and do nothing. And that is also an option. Because you're so used to these fast-paced games and you've always got to do something. You've always got to make an, a, a, an option or a selection. Without actually realizing that sometimes no selection is a selection. So it's nice to get reminded of that in this whole game. And all the endings were really cool, I must say. I really enjoyed the simulation one and the one with the birdie. The other ones, like, they're cool and everything. I was certainly blown away with the one where he dragged the guy back into the house. That was a plot twist I never saw coming. But nonetheless, I really enjoyed it. It was quite a nice little fun short game as well to play, same as the virtual open house. They are both done by Corpse Pile, so if you do want to go play and see if you could find any more endings or what it does if you do a different selection or, or a different order, you can all, you can find it all there by Corpse Pile. Um, like I said, both games are for free. Uh, they just ask, should you want to make a donation, you can pick the figure. Otherwise, you can just download the game for free. But I hope you guys liked the two games. And... There is still plenty of horror games in store. I have a massive list that's lined up. So hit the subscribe button below. And then you'll stick with me and all my squeals in the horrors. And if you like the video, please hit the like button below. And just a second reminder, hit the subscribe button. Don't I don't think you want to miss out on any of my jump squeals. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!